doing great welcome back to our channel agla sim schools today we will be covering the rest of the question of our 2.5 exercise that is polynomials so starting with the ninth question which says verify part 1 says x cube plus y cube that is equals to x plus y and x square minus xy plus y square so the answer first of all we have to take is rhs that is right hand side so right hand side is x plus y x square minus xy plus y square so taking this side we will get x that is we will we have to multiply x by this whole bracket and then we have to multiply y from this whole bracket so our answer will be x cube plus y cube that is equals to left hand side it means it is verified moving to our second part which says x cube minus y cube is equals to x minus y and x square plus xy plus y square so we have to prove it like rhs that is x minus y and x square plus xy plus y square we will take this side again we have to multiply this x by this whole bracket and minus y by this whole bracket so our answer will be x cube minus y cube that is equals to left hand side it means it is verified moving to our 10th question which says factorize the each of the following so part 1 says 27y cube plus 125z cube so 27y cube we can write it as 3y whole cube plus 125z cube we can write it as 5z whole cube so again by applying the formula that is x cube plus y cube equals to x plus y and x square minus xy plus y square applying this formula we will get 3y plus 5z and 9y square minus 15yz plus 25z square moving to a second part which says 64m cube minus 343n cube again 64 we can write it as 4m whole cube and 343n cube we can write it as 3n whole cube so applying the same formula that is x cube minus y cube we will get x minus y and x square plus xy plus y square solving this we will get 4m minus 3n and 16m square plus 12mn plus 9n square moving to our question 11 which says factorize 27x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz so how we have to solve it we can write 27x cube as 3x whole cube plus y cube plus z cube minus now we have to write minus 9xyz so we can write it as 3 bracket 3x and yz so solving this we will get the answer as 3x plus y plus z and 9x square plus y square plus z square minus 3xy minus yz minus 3zx moving to our 12th question which says verify so x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy is equals to half x plus y plus z and another bracket x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square bracket close so again we have to take right hand side that is half x plus y plus z bracket x minus y whole square plus bracket y minus z whole square plus bracket z minus x whole square taking this we have to solve it and our answer will be x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy which is equals to left hand side moving to our 13th question which says verify x plus y plus z is equals to 0 and we have to show that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equals to 3xyz so we know that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equals to x plus y plus z x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x so if x plus y plus z is equals to 0 that is given then x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z is equal to 0 into x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x so x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z is equals to 0 it means minus 3 x y z equals to right hand side we will get x cube plus y cube plus z cube equals to 3 x y z moving to our 14th question which says without actually calculating the cubes find the value of each of the following 
So part 1 says minus 12 whole cube plus 7 whole cube plus 5 whole cube. So answer is first of all we have to let a is equal to minus 12, b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 5 which is given to us. So a plus b plus c equals to we will add this like minus 12 plus 7 plus 5 we will get 0. So we know that if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 then a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 a b c. This is the formula. So by applying this formula that is a cube we have minus 12 whole cube plus b we have 7 whole cube plus c we have 5 whole cube equals to 3 into minus 12 into 7 into 5. So by solving this you will get minus 1260. Moving to our second part which says 28 whole cube plus minus 15 whole cube plus minus 13 whole cube. So again we have to let a, b and c. Now adding all this we will get 0 and by applying the formula a cube plus b cube plus c cube equals to 3abc. By applying this formula we will get 16380. Moving further with our 15th question which says give possible expressions for the length and the breadth of each of the following rectangles in which their actual area are given. So area is given in first part that is 25a square minus 35a plus 12. So 25a square minus 2 minus 15a plus 12. So we have written minus 2 minus 15 instead of 35. So by solving it, we will get length is equal to 5a minus 3 and breadth is equal to 5a minus 4. Moving to our second part which says area is equal to 35y square plus 13y minus 12. Again 35y square we will write the same and 13y we can write it as 28y minus 15y minus 12 the same. So after solving it, we will get length as 5y plus 4 and breadth as 7y minus 3. Moving to our 16th and the last question which says what are the possible expressions for the dimensions of the cuboid whose volume are given below. So the first part says volume is equal to 3x square minus 12x. So 3x bracket x minus 4 we can write it as again 3 into x into x minus 4. So therefore dimensions are 3x x minus 4. Second part says volume is equal to 12ky square plus 8ky minus 20k. So we have to take common that is 4k. So by taking 4k common we will get the equation and by solving the, this equation we will find that dimension of cuboids are 4k, 3y plus 5 and y minus 1. So this is all from this exercise guys. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question, please put your query in the comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Agla Sim Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself.